Thanks for joining us today. My name is Janet Yarrow. I am professor of biology at Housatonic Community College. I am also coordinating the Earth Day Month event for 2021. We're going to have um, both online events and on campus events. Today, we interview Richard Hubbard, the webmaster at Housatonic Community College. Rich is a published author. He wrote an incredible book called the, A Plant-Based Journey to Health. He describes his experiences losing 150 pounds by changing to an all plant-based diet. Let's find out from Rich the reasons why he decided to switch to a plant-based diet and the benefits, both health and otherwise, he experienced as a result. Hi, Rich. Hello, Professor Yarrow. Uh, thank you for having me and look forward to this interview. Good, very good. I am curious, was there any special event that prompted you to change the way you eat, or was this something you were thinking about to do for a while? I was extremely obese, um, and um, I knew I had to do something, but uh, every time I tried a diet over the years, it would fail. I've, I've tried everything from high protein, low carb things to just every fad diet out there, and nothing ever seemed to work. And what really kickstarted my weight loss was I, I had a physical in um, 2012. I'm not sure when you uh, started at Housatonic, but, um, they changed our uh, insurance requirements for the state of Connecticut, and they required um, physicals. And I hadn't gone to the doctor in years. In fact, the, the last doctor I had um, had long since retired. I had to find a new doctor and finally face my fears. So, because I didn't want to face the um, higher premiums. So I, I guess that was a good thing being frugal with the money that, you know, I ended up going to the doctor. So uh, I faced my fears, found a doctor and um, he confirmed what I already knew that I was obese. But he also told me that I was hypertensive, something I never gave any thought to. And I also probably borderline uh, pre-diabetic he wasn't as concerned about that as he was the blood pressure, and I also had um, elevated cholesterol. But the big thing was he wanted to put me on meds for the uh, blood pressure. So that really um, kickstarted my journey. But the thing is, uh, I didn't want to go on meds like everybody else. So many people in my family, you know, they stay on meds, and that's it. And for me, I wanted to improve my health. You wanted to take charge of your own health. Yes. Changes, changes that you thought might improve your health um, over the, the long haul. haul. Right. right. Okay. And initially, it wasn't about going plant based. It was about what foods to eliminate to uh, improve my blood pressure. It wasn't even about weight loss either in the beginning. It was about eliminating and um, adding foods that would improve my health. That was always the goal. Right. Right. So, um, so you you experimented a little bit on diets and landed up on a plant based diet. Yes. Okay. And, and like I said, it was by accident, really, just in my own research online. Okay, so through research online, you settled on a plant based diet, hoping you could normalize your blood pressure, maybe lose some weight, right, maybe right. lose the diagnosis of pre diabetic, yeah, and yeah. be overall more healthy because you're a young guy, right? Right. So um. Can you define for us what you mean by a plant-based diet? What specifically do you eat or not eat? Sure. Plant-based, um, technically, you can have some uh, minimal animal products if you want with a plant-based diet. I choose not to because I'm also a vegan. But, but plant-based, uh, ideally, you want probably 90, 80 to 90 percent of your calories from plant-based foods, which are fruits, uh, veggies, um, grains, beans, uh, foods like that. And you want to uh, minimize if, if you do have animal products, uh, you know, you don't want processed meats like bacon, for example. I don't, I, it's, I don't think that's good for anybody. Uh, any kind of lunch meat like that, you know, packaged meats. The ideal um, diet really is whole foods. So if you do consume uh, minimal animal products, you want to get as whole food as possible, as pure as possible. You don't want antibiotics and uh, different foods that end up in our um, food chain. Okay, so as close to nature as possible. Yes. Right, close to nature. So you're talking really about a whole foods diet, uh, basically plants, some maybe a little bit of meat you don't have, some animal products you don't have, but um, 
that's a, in a plant-based diet. That's what that right. would mean. Right. And uh, give us an example. What did you have for breakfast this morning? Sure. I always start out with steel cut oats every day, oatmeal. Uh, that's my favorite breakfast. I find it keeps me um, satisfied until lunchtime. The problem with um, diets before I did this, and uh, even when I wasn't on a diet, I was always hungry. And uh, the oatmeal seems to keep me full longer because of the, the, you know, the fiber content. And I add berries on top and nuts. And uh, I'll have almond butter on, um, uh, I found that um, what's called um, thin cake. It's uh, like a cracker. It has uh, four ingredients, uh, sesame seeds, um, I, I believe uh, quinoa, um, very little salt. I, I add uh, almond butter to that, and there's no other ingredients but almonds in that. I'll have green tea as well, and that seems to keep me uh, full long enough for until lunchtime. Okay. Okay, interesting. Okay, so... On this plant-based whole foods diet, or I shouldn't say diet, it's a, it's a way of eating. Yeah, it's a lifestyle, lifestyle plan. It's a lifestyle right. plan for you. You lost 150 pounds. That's quite yeah. impressive. Tell us over what period of time did you lose this weight? How long it took you? And what challenges you faced along the way? Right. I started in, in January, really, with that physical. And by December of that year, it was uh, the first 120. The, the other 30 pounds came gradually over the, you know, the next couple of years. But I would say uh, aggressively that first year. And the challenges for me were um, really to uh, keep going. Um, you know, you have cravings for the bad foods. They, they, those uh, last for uh, maybe a couple of weeks. And, uh, you know, you, you get cravings for sugar and things like that. And uh, I got to be honest with people, it's not easy at first because, you know, especially if you're used to all the bad foods, you'll have to go through a period of adjustment for sure. Okay. And I also had to, um, you know, learn proper ways to exercise. I was probably exercising too hard that first year. I don't, I don't think I need to work as hard as I did because the weight fell off anyway. Sometimes you go um, over to the exercise as well. I think if, if you have a good plan of, maybe a half hour. I was doing an hour at the time, which is why it fell off so quick. But I, I do think that um, the slower you go, sometimes with weight loss, the better you are with loose skin, for example. I talk about in my book that I had an abdominal plastic after five years. I think if I had slowed down someone in the weight loss, I wouldn't have had as much loose skin. I think they say the, the slower you go, the less skin you'll have. Okay. So you cut out not only were you eating plant-based, but you mm. cut out all the junk food in your diet. Yes. So cookies, cakes, um, candy, ice cream, all of that. And, they're, and a lot of them are animal-based as well, all out. Did you, did you take sugar out of your diet? Well, for the most part, there, there are um, certain cheat days. You know, a lot of my friends, too, have, uh, been, have been on a similar journey. They, they do the same thing. You know, if there's, um, for me, it'd have to be vegan because I'm an eth ethical vegan, but if there's um, some cookie, for example, at a party that I know is vegan, I'll, I'll eat it, you know, if it's like once a month, as long as it doesn't turn into a pattern. That's the thing for me. I know it won't be addictive just that one time, so I'll allow myself once in a while. Right, right. You feel confident now that you've changed your basic approach to food so you, you feel confident you could have that one cookie, enjoy it, not feel guilty, right. and then move right. on instead think, of taking yeah. a cookie and eating the whole thing, right? Yeah, so there, there was a time in the past where I, I was afraid that, you know, what if I eat this, would I, uh, would I lose everything I gained, you know, um, of my knowledge and everything, would I just go back to my old ways? But that hasn't happened. I, I've learned over the years. It, it just, uh, once it becomes a lifestyle, you know, I think, um, I don't think I have to worry now. Good. So you feel confident in yourself. Excellent. Yes. And how many years have you kept the weight off for? Uh, well, since, um, the end of 2012 is when I lost the first 120 pounds. So it's been a good, um, you know, seven and a half, uh, well, no, eight and a half now, nine years. Yeah. So obviously this is implanted in you. You have, it's not a diet plan. It's a way of life. 
You've created new habits, and that's the way to go about losing weight, creating new habits to replace your unhealthy eating habits. So tell us, uh, again, what are some of the health benefits you experienced by losing all this weight? Right. Well, uh, one of my goals after that physical is to not, not go on meds, and I'm still med-free today. Good. Um, I just had lab work recently. My cholesterol is now in the 130s, um, total cholesterol, that is. My triglycerides are uh, 70s. Uh, my blood sugar is in the 80s. All the numbers were fantastic. And also, uh, I had my D, my vitamin D levels checked for the first time, and they were, um, I believe, 50. It was in the perfect range. So everything was good. I attribute that to my uh, healthy way of eating. Okay. So you're eating a variety of plants, right? Yeah. And yeah. Uh, plants uh, grow in nature. You have fruits, vegetables, you have nuts and seeds, you have grains, you have herbs. Um, right. yeah, lots of spices. Whole, and yeah, so you have a whole range of just plants, variety of them that you eat. And of course, we know plants have fiber in it. You mentioned plants also has something called fibro phytochemicals in it, which seem to have a, a good, a good effect on health. So you're having all these good things in your diet. So, um, let me ask you this. What other ways has your weight loss and change in eating habits affected your life? Well, for me, it, it, I became um, an ethical vegan, as I mentioned, um, and that. The reason um, that helped me is because I now, this this happened four years ago when I did that, and now I'm more conscious of ingredients. And uh, another thing that happened to me is because of, of my journey, I've wanted to pursue some kind of um, either coaching or some kind of added thing to my um, already <laughs> full list of things that I do. I, I want to, um, you know, coach people either with weight loss or, or um, if they're wanting to improve their uh, health, just something along those lines. I'd love to get another certificate, you know, further along my path. Okay, that's great. So, you know, you, you had great success uh, with the plant-based diet. You wanted to share your successes, so you wrote a book. What message do you want to convey to your readers? I want um, the readers to know to um, never give up. Uh, it's worth it. Um, your health is worth it. Plant-based work for me, but find something that works for you. Um, if you find yourself in a situation where you're, you, you know, you're unhealthy, or your doctor tells you something's wrong, uh, there are answers out there. Work with your doctor. I worked with my doctor. I, I didn't just do it on my own. I told him what I was doing. Once you work with your doctor and he agrees, if you do some research and find out what works for you, just never give up. I, I would get discouraged before I found something that works. And uh, I think it's important to just keep going. Because if I gave up, uh, where would I be today? I, I, I mean, I'd be on meds or who knows, even worse. So your health is worth it. That's my advice. Right. And so in you changing to a plant-based diet, not only did you find personal health and lots of success, also, um, what message can you share for uh, the effect of eating plant-based for Earth Day? Well, I, I'm always concerned about the environment, too. Uh, that's, that's been a big concern of mine for years. Um, and I'm concerned about, you know, how much uh, land that the cattle uses. And um, I, I just uh, hope that um, as we get more um, plant-based, um, I'm just hoping that we can develop more ways to um, use less resources of the land. I, I hate to see the forest chopped down and, you know, and um, the animals that end up dying because they, uh, they have to kill these forests just for palm oil. So I think we have a long ways to go, but my hope is that as more people adapt healthier eating habits, that maybe they'll think about some of the ingredients that are ruining the environment. Okay, right. There's certainly been a push toward eating more plant-based diets and moving away from red meat, which does seem to cause a lot of the pollution. So um, I want to thank you for sharing today your thoughts. I'm happy to do it. I enjoyed our discussion on your on plant-based diet. And I want to thank everyone for listening and have a wonderful day.